I'm thrilled because, you know, when you look back over the last uh, period, you, you kind of have a dream and you have a plan. But I think the best thing that's happened to us is that despite the disappointments of the playoffs, we've gone up as champions and we've gone up as champions winning 6-0. Uh, when I was having sleepless nights about it going wrong. Um, and it's lovely that Neil has been here through all this time. He's been through the tough times with me when, you know, it was very, very difficult and nobody deserves it more than he does and, and, and Jason Lillis and Ronan Edge and his, his staff. It was mostly about getting this all out of the way, but of course, you know, we've known for a while there was a pretty good chance of us going up. So yes, we have talked about it and we've, you know, thought about where we might finish. And I have to say for me, success would be anything above fifth from bottom, because I think that we could do with the season establishing ourselves and then build a base to push forward rather like we've done reaching the playoffs and then pushing on and doing the, the big thing. The Knights were heard. Number nine, Ian Draycott. <laughs> Company Advice for Business has voted number 10, Paul Rook, as man of the match. And what is nice about it is a lot of them have been here through the, the dark times. And, and really, if you look at the team this season, it's only been tweaked a little bit not by a great deal and I, I hope that many of them will be here next year because I think that a lot of them are now able to establish themselves as Roman Premier players. Number 15, Jordan Wright. Number 16, John Pilgrim. Number 17, Matt Newman. Okay, now I'd also like to ask the physio team to come forward. Have you been standing at Dave Williams? Yeah. Also the coaching team, Jason Lillis and Roland Edge. Yeah. Now, nearly a thousand games, the big man himself, Neil Cugley. And now to receive the trophy, Roman League Division 1 South Champions, please put your hands together for Mr. Liam Payne! I wasn't, I wasn't particularly happy stood in probably the same place this time last year when uh, we let ourselves down a little bit. We needed to win the league and we've, we've done it with games to spare, so not really a lot else we can do, is there? <laughs> pleased with you to see the turnout this afternoon? Well I was staggered because I mean I spoke to the paper uh, in the week and I thought about 700 and I'd have been pleased with 700. To get 1500 and something I mean it's just phenomenal but I believe that's because the club has started to establish itself in the town and as a respectable club who, who plays its part in the community by putting on charity things and so on and I think that's all very important to our future. Yeah, it was a bit nerve-wracking first half, I think, but um, uh, yeah, second half, so obviously the goal started going in and then we knew we could uh, have the party at the end, so. Obviously a lot of the players that play today will be involved next year, they're bound to be, they're good lads, and, and you know, we know I've got a bit of financial restrictions a little bit in the sense we've got to be careful what we spend so we'll go what we've got. Do you think for next season obviously just focus on obviously party now but then focus on next season? Yeah I'm only worried about the party to be honest you can ask me that tomorrow or the next day.